I'm devastated. It is November 9th, and up until last night, I kept saying that I couldn't wait until it was November 9th so this would all be over. But now, I wish it was any day but November 9th. I think over the last several hours, I've been through all of the stages of grief. I've noticed myself denying (laughs) what was going on or hoping that there would be some miracle to make it not the way that things were looking or being sad and being really angry. And I'm trying to work on that acceptance stage. But it's probably helped that I haven't had to face the real world yet. The main thing that I've been thinking over the past several hours is how. How did we get here? How were there so many people that were willing to overlook the incredibly racist and sexist and horrible things that were said during Trump's campaign and decide to vote for him? How do I go to school tomorrow to my class of students that are 96% black and explain to them that half of America doesn't care, doesn't value their lives more than they value this man who says he says what he thinks but lies and just is, I don't know, horrible. How are there so many people that are so angry with their lives now that feel so disenfranchised that they're willing to set the country back 50 years? But most importantly, how do we move on from here? Because clearly something is wrong. We know that we live in a divided nation, but we live in a very divided nation. In one of my several various bouts of anger, I wanted to go through my friends list and defriend every person that I suspected of voting for Trump or who had explicitly said that. I wanted to get angry with anyone who had cast a third party vote. But the voting's over with now and it doesn't do any good to continue being angry at those people. We need to start understanding. We need to understand why this happened. We need to stop fighting over party lines through computer screens. We need to start talking to each other. We need to figure out where this disconnect is and figure out how to bridge it. We need to protect the people who are going to be put in danger by potential policies that have been talked about. Basically, we just have a lot of work to do and It's nice to say, oh, I want to move to Canada or I want to go somewhere else. But that can't be the answer. The answer can't be to just run away from what's going on. The answer needs to be to fix it. There are so many people who are at risk now. We need to stay here and help them. You don't want to just abandon things that don't go your way. You need to work to try to make them go your way. One thing I'm really concerned about is that Because Trump won, it's going to seem like a validation for the way that he's been acting. All of these people that have seen him make these remarks about women and get away with it and make these remarks about minorities and get away with it and just be a bully, people are going to say, well, that's how he became president. That's okay. That's how you get what you want. And that's horrible. That's the thing that I'm so scared of. All I can think about is the children that have been seeing him act this way and realizing that now he's the most powerful man in the world. And like, what sort of message does that send? So there's nothing I can do about Trump becoming president at this point. I've done my duty and it wasn't enough. And I'm so sad for these people like, Tyler Oakley, who has put so much time into this campaign and trying to use his platform to get things out there. Uh, Taylor from Radish Time has also been putting so much time into working for the campaign, and there have been so many other people doing cold calls and going on visits and just, I mean, talking to people that they know. And as tempting as it is, it's the worst time possible to give up. This is when we need to really fight. We need to make the difference here in our lives, in people's individual lives, because the people are the people who elected this person. We need to be figuring out what's going wrong and fixing that so that we don't make this mistake again. I'm so sad and I'm so devastated, but I want so badly to make this right. I hope that you all join me in not fighting with the people who have views that are different than you, but trying to listen and understand and have 
real conversation that doesn't devolve into name calling and screaming. Let's do what we can to try to limit the damage that is has already been done and that could potentially be done in the future. We got to do those guys. We have to. I love you all. And I'll see you all later.